What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So it is another week of Xur, and Xur is located on Nessus, and he is by the Watcher's Grave on the ship. So let's go find out what he has this week. Xur, what's up dude? Go ahead and just cop a seat right here. So like always, we're going to start with the left hand side. We have the weapon of the week, which is the tractor cannon. It is an exotic shotgun. Then we have the Dragon Shadow for the Hunter, the Starfire Protocol for the Warlock, as well as the Worm God's Caress uh, for the Titan. We are going to go ahead and start with the Tractor Cannon. Tragic Poke on this is Repulsive Force, which this weapon emits a powerful impulse that pushes away enemies, suppresses their abilities, and makes them more vulnerable to all incoming damage. Then we have Extended Barrel, Particle Repeater, the Scientific Method, which damaging an opponent temporarily increases speed and handling, and then we also have Composite Stop. This actually does have a Catalyst as well as a couple of ornaments. This is the only one I have though. However, the ornament does not come with it. Now, this is a good exotic to have in PvE as well as PvP. Um, so if you guys do not have it, go ahead and grab it. I'm probably going to go ahead and rate it a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. And if you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it down in the description box below. Next, the Dragon Shadow. Turns a perk on this is Wraith Metal Mail, which dodging reloads all weapons and increases both movement and weapon handling speeds for a brief time. Now, this is a good exotic, but I do not know why a lot of people don't use it. Uh, this one specifically has a plus 13 in mobility, which is amazing because it helps you. Oh yeah, I know why they don't use it. Because they would rather use the Stompies! And for good reason. But, this is still a good exotic to use. Um, in PvE as well as PvP, so I'm definitely going to go ahead and give this a tier 2 to at least a tier 2.5 in both PvE as well as PvP. Now, this actually has uh, another ornament. Looks pretty cool. Has a lion on it. Next is the Starfire Protocol. Transit perk on this is Fusion Harness, which fusion grenades have an additional charge and recharge from empowered weapon damage. Fusion Grenade kills Grant Rift Energy. Uh, this has a uh, plus 12 recovery and discipline, which is pretty good, or at least decent for uh, a Warlock for discipline, but higher discipline um, and grenades for any class would probably be a little bit better. However, as I have been saying since Destiny 2 came out from the beginning, Fusion Grenades are not what they were since Destiny 1. They cannot one-shot kill, and they can only finish an enemy off if they are already damaged. This is an okay exotic. Not what I would call top tier, but not bad, because you can still kill adds in PvE very easily, um, or at least low-level adds. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a tier 2.5 to tier 3 in PvP, but probably a tier 2 to 2.5 in PvE. Does it have an ornament? Nope, no ornaments. Last but not least, Worm God Caress for the Titan. Trend perk on this is uh, Burning Fists, which melee kills increase melee damage for a sh uh, period of time. Uh, additional kills extend duration and increases effects. Now the highest thing on this is Strength, which is obviously what you want for melee. However, once again, it is only a plus 12, so it is decent, not extremely great. Uh, this is probably a little bit better in PvE than it is PvP against low-level adds. Um, is it top tier for uh, the Titan? Probably not, but it's not a bad exotic either. So I'm gonna definitely going to go ahead and give it uh, tier 2.5 in pvp but a tier two in pve then coming down here we got your consumables which is five of swords aka your nightfall challenge card then your invitations to the nine which i will never ever do again and then last but not least your exotic engram so let me go ahead and get rid of something so i can uh pop this and see what we get this week
So we get the Gleason vest. So definitely go ahead and make sure you pop these. If you do not have them before, you go ahead and pop the exotic engram because you do have a chance to get one of these if you do not already have it inside that exotic engram. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny community for LFG on all platforms, content creators, and you can reach me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys next time.